Here I am near the intersection of Blue Gum Track and O'Brien's Road. Today I'm going to go down that track over there, down in there. Um, I think it goes through the track to the track that I went down a couple of weeks ago to see if that linked up. So hopefully this one does. Probably 10k round trip maybe. It's about 6.30 in the morning. 15 degrees. Supposed to be top of 31 I guess. That's what they reckon. A little bit of wind around, not too bad. But again, I, I think this is a a trail bike track. So it remains to be seen how good in how good a condition it is because it's pretty accessible. This one. It's right off one of the main campsites on Blue Gum Track, so. I dare say there'd be a few people that have come down here. What's well, been down here for a while? I don't know what it is. Nothing down here is stopping anyone from driving up. There's no gates, no, no bollards, nothing. No, they have got a no motorbike allowed sign at the start, but I don't think that works too well. Track goes down that way. Just saw a couple of black cockatoos sitting in a tree here. I'm not sure how far they went, but I hope I'll be able to get to have a look at them with the camera. Of course, I didn't have it on, I just turned it off. They're quiet buggers, they don't squawk and carry on like the sulfur crested cockies do. Pretty good track so far. Most of it's downhill, but uh, it's not too bad. It's not chopped up by the bikes. Not really trying to go too quick today. It's going to be 30. It's already feeling, it's probably up around, I guess, 17 or 18 now. And it's only just after 6.30, so. Just trying to cruise along. I can hear plenty of black cockatoos floating around here. Got a bit of a different call than the sulfur crested.
sun coming up through the trees. Little bit of wind around. So far, our track was not too hard. Just basic walk. By the look of the map, it goes down pretty steep when we get to the valley, but and then pretty steep on the way up. I mean, apart from that, oh, I ain't going downhill. It's quite easy. Yeah, so we get to this little spot here, and nothing. <laughs> no, no track that you can see. And there's the track coming in. I've had a bit of an explore before I've turned this on otherwise I'll be just going straight back so if you look down to the right here got a couple of pink ribbons so best I follow them Kind of going in the opposite direction that I thought I would be going, but well, we'll just follow it. See where I end up, I guess. Very realistically, to, to that turnaround point, there's only 20 minutes. 15 20 minutes from the car, so it's not really anything strenuous at all. But I'm hoping that this goes down into this little gully, turns left, and gets me to where I want to be. Now I've got pretty good traction here at the moment. Like I said in my last one, the, the speed goats are starting to wear out, but. I actually went and tried on a pair of Cascadia 17 and I didn't like them. I didn't think the lugs were, struck, were um, hard enough. I thought they would probably wear out very quickly. Especially if you're going to be on some hard, like this stuff, not a problem, but if you end up on some really hard packed roads to and from and a few k's along it I reckon I reckon half the life of what these speed goats have given me so I uh, even though they were basically half price I opted out of them and got a pair of speed goats online so no more ribbons there is a bit of a track which is pretty much gone now. Yeah, we don't want to be down here. It's in the opposite direction that I wanted to go, totally. I'll go back up and see if the ribbons went the other side, but... So that bird there, that was a black cockatoo somewhere. So, totally different call. Unless I see another ribbon here, I'll turn around and go back. It was a bit of a quick one. 
Oh, well down a black pocket too. Anyway, so much for that. Back up the hill I go. Oh, jeez. Track finishes right here. You can see it. There's the track. Or oh, what supposedly is part of it. And there's a ribbon. But it definitely disappears after this. It's not a bad track, a little bit rutted in spots, but still pretty easy. Definitely this one goes all the way from uh, looking at the bike tyres on it. It wouldn't come down here if it didn't. So, should be good. It should, uh, well, I'm hoping it will confirm what I think happens. And then that'll give it three versions of one loop. Long one mid and a short one so this track definitely links up to the one on the other side of the valley it's pretty good a few ruts in some spots but uh yeah, it's pretty it's in pretty good condition easy enough to walk down this morning when I got out out here there were no cars anywhere no bikes getting ready to go out or campers I think it's a weekend before everyone goes back to work so they might all be just staying home This is the first walk I've done after the new year, so first walk of the year. Found one track with a dead end, very good. And it uh, looks like this one's going to go where I'm hoping it will. Happy sitting with each other. Oh, yeah, they all just move. Look at them, they're moving. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Get down. Look at that. Well, right now, we're as high as we're going to get along this saddle or, I don't know, spur or whatever you call it. I have to get my terminology right. A hill thingy that sticks out like a finger. There you go. Um, we're as high as we're going to get on that. There's some hills through the trees there. We're not, we're not high. I'm not sure what we are. Probably... Still 500, but we're, we're down lower, and now we're starting to about to start to go into the valley. 
by the look of the map. There's no track on the map. I'm just looking at the lines. They look fairly steep just down here somewhere. So I'd say we, we take a dip down. Yeah, and here we go. I'm not sure how far this goes because it turns to the left somewhere. I, I might turn to the left down the bottom, but more than what the four-wheel drives have done on other on other tracks around here out of the two the bikes probably do the least amount of damage Yeah, I guess it's steep. I've been down steeper, but it just depends on what you're comfortable with, I guess, in the end. You can kind of see these root systems on the trees. Now, through here with all the rock, they're pretty much only two feet thick. It's holding that big tree up. Well, it used to hold that big tree up. That's only been down for a couple of months. It's still, the leaves are just turning brown now. So, and I'd say it knocked the tree over next to it as well when it came down. But it hasn't been down that long. The root balls on the bottom of them aren't that big. There's already a tree growing out from under it. Possibly the same one, who knows? Survival of the fittest out here, I guess. Dicey there, but not bad. If you pick your way through it, you'll be okay.
looks like we're almost in the valley. So we made it down in the valley. Nice little spot actually. And to be honest, I, I really don't think there's much difference between going down that and the tracks at Werribee Gorge. You know, I, I kind of think that Yeah, as long as you pick your way through it, I, I kind of think it's pretty much there's not much difference. Yeah, not everywhere's rutted out because of the motorbikes, and in some spots where they have caused the rut, they actually give you something to walk on. So, now the thing is, was this once a gold mining spot? Have we got any diggings? What was what was the track originally here for? Which always intrigues me as to why. Why, why, why? Have we got any gold? diggings down here well, we've still got some flow and water which we're right up the top now we're um i reckon we're only oh a k and a half downstream from uh, what gully uh, what road um o'brien's road i think i just got to find now where the where they've gone on the other side of the of this to get up the other side of the hill. Unless this is it. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Silly me. Thinking that this would be it. over there but but guess what perfect spot to have a rest look at that absolutely spot on how would this little spot be on a 40 degree day Really nice little spot, isn't it? Nice clear water running. Almost tempted to go up there and have a look. Just crawl up the hill. But, uh, yeah. 
have to have a look at my map before I decide to do that. Oh, I think I'll have something to eat. A cup of coffee. And I'll be off. Just had a nice 20 minute break. Sitting here. Chilling. Listening to the sounds. Hardly any wind down in here. A little bit of wind around though. Really nice little spot for a rest. So I come down that, which it wasn't too bad. It's, if anyone's walked the link or, I don't know, anything else around here, it's no harder, no easier. Well, it probably is easier. There's less people have walked it. The trail bikes don't seem to have done that too much damage to it, so... Pretty simple walk. And now, we're just sitting over there on that rock and that little flat bit. Now we're just going to walk up the trail here and keep going. Feet wet and I'll be happy. Yep. Oh, nearly. Stand in here. And when I talked to the bike riders the other week, they reckon that this came to a the uh, the track up the other side just came down to a campsite. A little bit more than the campsite. Well, not a bit more than the campsite, but it's a it's a track that goes all the way through from one side to the other. Well, I'll be the pink ribbon. Where on earth does that go? There's another ribbon there too. I wonder what track that ends up being. Oh dear me. Oh, let's get up here if I can. Geez, that's slippery.
Got to get back down that. It's easy getting up it. Yeah, no more pink ribbons up that way. There's one down in there that's fallen and I reckon the track's just up to the right there so that's no big deal getting back to that. slippery actually which is a change Oop, that was again shut your mouth yeah we're in a nice little spot here pretty solid bush back there So I have to have a look. I have to have a look. Find places that we haven't seen before. That's what it's about. Oh, spider web. <laughs> Goodness me. This is a bit flash. far as I'm going to go. I'm not bush bashing anymore. No, I probably could. It's not too bad. Nice little quiet spot here. Just come out of there through that way somewhere. Just wandered up the gully slightly. Now I just got to get myself up there somewhere. I know the track's up there somewhere. I just got to get up through this crap. It's pretty clear this bit here for some reason. I'd say the track's just here. At some stage, someone had some pink ribbons down there. I don't know why. Oh, there's a track there. Love to bash, bash me way up further one day, but not today. Yeah, good on you fellas. Take your crap home with you. So now, it's just to walk up the hill to the next track. Up that away, which shouldn't be too bad, and then back along uh, a track we did the other week. So far, I'm pretty happy with this one. Be a nice, easy route, nice, easy loop, nice spot to rest down here. Just be wary of the big trees over your head. There's some, uh, there's some stonkers. Look at them, they're big buggers. 
So all in all, to now, it's a, been a good walk. Although I might have to invest in a, another camera so I can take some really, really good quality stuff with instead of using my phone and captures off of the video. Anyway, I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute once I get up the hill a little bit. So we're walking up the track, obviously. It's pretty straightforward. It's not, uh, it's very, very rocky. So if you don't like rocks, don't worry about it, but not a bad little walk. And you can see on the map there. So if I move that across, you can see that blue line. Oh, go away. I don't want a marked location. So you can see that blue line up in the top corner there. I reckon we're running down that ridge to where that pink line is. The one on the left there is the one that was a dead end. And the other one is what I walked down when I was recording the track. And the pink starts when I finish the break. So probably only got another, well, probably not even a K to go until I get on the track that I did the other day. So, yeah, not a bad walk actually. I'll keep this running for a little bit just to show you what it's like. going to be an absolutely beautiful day 31 degrees I think they said but storms developing We're still on the trail. Pretty simple. It's just steady uphill. Uh, no really big ruts. A little bit rocky. No worse than what anyone else has done before. So if you wanted to do this one, by all means. I think the loop here is, uh, let's say, from the intersection of O'Brien's and Blue Gum. If you want to do the loop all the way round back to that, I think it's about six kilometres. 
The next loop down is about 10 and the next loop down from that is 15. I haven't walked the bottom of the track on the 15. I've walked down to where it crosses the gully once. I think it crosses one more time then goes up the hill and, and around an outcrop. But it's a good trio of tracks, I guess. Long, middle and short. Depends on what you want and how much time you got on the day. Yeah, this is a good one. Now we're at the track intersection now. So, if you're a, definitely do this one. Doesn't matter where you're beginner, expert, whatever. It's, it's a nice walk. <laughs> it's just a good one. I reckon you get the most out of it if you were a beginner moving into the intermediate and you're a little bit more confident in everything that you do I reckon that's a, a good one because walking down the hill on the other side is pretty good it's not too hard but it, it gives you a bit of a gives you a bit of a introduction into a bit of clambering which isn't hard uh, you get down to a little river and up to the top there you can see it, it just dips down a little bit over the ridge it's just a constant grade up it's not hard at all and it's only about 6k's so if you were in the uh, you know you had your day pack you had your gear I had coffee and everything with me today but I didn't have any couldn't be bothered with it um, if you're in that area where you thought geez I'm, I'm ready for a walk but I don't know what and that, that's a good one it's not hard it's not long It's easy, it's easy enough to, to take too much out of you. I've just been cruising today. Nothing, no need to go flat out like I usually do. Just wanted to enjoy it and explore it. But 10 out of 10, I reckon. 10 out of 10. You could even go up the end and have a little look at that dead end bit if you wanted to. Not that there's anything there, but definitely well worth a walk. Anywho. You've seen this part, it's on the last video, I will sign off and I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a happy new year and I look forward to doing a heap more walks, I reckon I've still got 20 in here to do alone, so cheerio, look after yourself and we'll see you next time.